Hi guys, welcome to my tutorial series of the GoodNotes app. I will be showing you all the basics and everything you need to know about this app and after I've done this app, if there's any recommendations, I will look at another app you recommend I will try and look at. So, first of all, you have to go and download the GoodNotes app from the App Store. I leave a link in the description below and it costs about 100 Rand. Uh, I'll check in other the currencies what it costs, but I'll leave a link in the description so you can go ahead and check it out. Okay, so first of all, you go ahead and you go and open GoodNotes. Then, first of all, you will be seeing the Uncatch Grass page. There might be nothing here for you. Then you can go to Categories in the top left corner and you'll see that um, I also already have a few categories and yeah, you can at the top left see there's a little plus sign next to categories so you can create a category and you can create a master category when you create a category only it will be like this if you click on it it shows all your pages and when you create a master category it will create a category if you click on it it has all of its sub categories okay now you can go click on the plus button let's create a new category we'll name it youtube then you can see your category is created you can click on it and you will be presented this page that has nothing in it so to create your first notebook you go to the plus at the top left corner and you can either create a new notebook or input so you just go click on create new notebook then if you click on the cover page you can see that there are a lot of options for cover pages but there's a bunch of bunch of covers landscape as well and you can see there's really a lot of covers you can use which really makes organizing your stuff very very easy and you also have a lot of different papers you can select from and you can also import your own papers so you can see here i have created a black page which i can draw on i also created a green screen the other ones you would see on yours as well it's the standard ones you have a lot of graph papers which is pretty nice if you do a lot of graphs and the top paper is just like sheet music paper and then you have a bunch of standard papers a3 a4 and a5 and also you have writing papers with single column single column double space seven rows five rows mixed column single column mixed two and you really have a lot of options of papers you can use then you can go click down here to create your notebook you can call it anything you want to and then just click create when you're done now you will see your notebook in front of you now to start off you can write something on your cover page i am using this pen it's a bamboo fine line 3 to write on my on the good notes app so if you haven't seen the video i've done on this pen you can go check it out i'll leave a link in the description it's a really nice pen and really nice for taking notes so just press to connect this and then it will be connected and okay over here you can go and select any colors i've added a few of my own but i think you would see about the first two rows normally you can click on this little edit button right here and you can go and add the color as you want okay so you choose your color let's just go with blue there and the thickness of your pen and then you can go and you can go right like that okay so this page we'll do this zoom in a bit um, this is in landscape mode right now i usually don't write in landscape mode so then you can go and you can take your notes this is a bit, a bit thick just go click up there make it a bit thinner and yeah, you can go ahead and take your notes I'll show you how to connect your pen and set your palm rejection preferences in another tutorial video on the GoodNotes app. 
I'm only showing you the basics now. So yeah, over here to the left, you can see if you press this four little squares, it shows you all of your pages. So this is really neat if you quickly have to find something in one of your notebooks. If you have a lot of work, like I have right here, you can go and you can go and scroll through the pages to quickly find something. Sometimes it leaves a little bit of a lag. I don't know if it's just my iPad, but you can go and scroll and quickly find whatever you're looking for. Okay, next to the squares, you can go and press the plus button. You can add an image. You can either add it from iCloud Drive, iTunes, Photos, Camera, Dropbox, or Box, I don't know what that is, Google Drive, OneDrive. So you can go and add an image. Let's go take one from our photos. You can see you can resize it. You can crop it. And there you go, you have an image in your GoodNotes app. And then you can also insert a text box where you can type something in. You can also add a bookmark on your page. You can also go and add a page above this page. As so, then this page would come in front of the previous page. Like so. Or you can go and add a page below. Which then adds a page after this page. You can also go and import files above or below this page. Next to the little plus sign you have the square, circle and triangle. If you click on that. Now if you go and you make a circle, it will make it a nice round circle for you. If you go and make a square, it will make a nice square for you. Triangle. Oh. I think you lift it up there. If you go make a triangle, it will look like that. So right next to the square, circle and triangle, there is a little page with a pencil over it. So if you click that, it opens up this. Then you can go and write here. And then you see it is a bit easier to write. And if you go and write in this blue box, it will be it will go to where the blue box is in on the page up here as you can see then you also have your highlighters different sizes you can also add colors and you can go and highlight some of your work you can also get the eraser and it also has its own settings you can add the lasso tool which you can lasso things move it around take a screenshot of it resize it change the color of it convert to something else cut copy or delete and then you have this which says no drawing, no pencil, you can just move around with your finger. Next to that is the undo button right here and the redo button right next to it. And this three little dots gives you a bunch of more options. Uh, so really easy to navigate, really easy to take some notes, organize your stuff very, very neatly. I will go into more depth on some of the topics I've discussed and yeah, then I'll see you if you want to know more. Comment down below if you want to know anything. I will get back to you. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a really, really nice day. And yeah, see you maybe in the, in the next video. Cheers.